Here at home, an arrest has also been made in a highway shooting that claimed the life of a beloved teacher. Local 10's Christian De La Rosa is live at the jail in Fort Lauderdale with where that suspect is still behind bars tonight. Christian. Louis, the suspected murderer was arrested in Pembroke Pines and the victim's family tells us tonight they're relieved he's off the streets. This was so unfair. This was so unfair to her. She did not deserve this. Detectives say 21-year-old Jacoby Williams wow. is the man who said, opened yeah, fire from face. his car while on I-95. He opened fire from his car. This wasn't a like this, this wasn't a blood feud, man. This teacher, this little um fucking um preschool teacher, she she wasn't in a blood feud with this guy. Maybe they were outside, you don't know. No, no, no. They were in school, you know, they were in if, different gangs. If yeah, I did it was a person, <laughs> you looking at it. Yeah, man. So now tell me this though, man, like um What's the difference between this and Tori? Like, like, think about it, man. Like, what is the difference? I mean, like, For real. Like, no like, difference. Was Shame. He was bad and he shot this. Into the, he shot this broad. The only difference is this. This chick. This chick's dead, and Meg has survived. He did not deserve this. Detectives say. 21-year-old Jacoby Williams is the man who opened fire from his car while on I-95, striking and ultimately killing a beloved teacher and injuring her boyfriend. It happened on the southbound lanes near the Sunrise exit back in late November, around 9 o'clock at night. Annie Estevez was just 23 years old, an educator at Nurtree Montessori in Fort Lauderdale. Her cousin, Gabby Huerta, spoke to Local 10 News earlier this month. Annie's the last person Smash. that this should have ever happened to. Yep. Our heart, like our family's heart, is broken. It's, it's so broken right now. Mm. Loved ones say Estevez and her boyfriend were driving home from a Thanksgiving trip out of state when they were shot at. Police say Williams fired a gun from a newer model BMW i8. Bullets mm. also hit Poverty. a second car where a child was also shot but survived. He hit a child child being a doing some things. He hit a child. He did, he not only killed her and shot her boyfriend, but he had a child in another car. Hey, that's pretty good for a son, man. Like if you talk about the shooting ratio, you got to well, driving I right? eight though. Yeah, there's nothing. Poverty, man. He did this because of poverty, man. The prison, the, the school prison pipeline, man, led him to a life of poverty. And you know, he had to fucking shoot these people because that's what poor people do. Bullets also hit a second car where a child was also shot but survived. Court finds probable cause, no bond. Williams is now charged with first degree murder and attempted first degree murder. It's good to know that he's not going to be the cause of other families suffering the way that we're suffering. But at the same time, the unfortunate truth is that no matter what happens, you know, nothing is going to bring. Now, if these old burritos fucking hate niggas after this shit, people will act like they don't know the fuck why. He needs to fry. Yep. Don't blame them for hating his ass. I don't blame them for hate, for seeing, think about the way it happened. They're probably on the road. They probably cut him off. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. They probably cut him off. Or, you know, something like that. Or maybe, like, we're driving too slow. You Come know on, Aki. So, you're, using, you're, you're using sensible arguments. He just wanted maybe, to test out his new gun. Maybe you cut him off, like, in a non-aggressive manner at that. You know? Nah, man. You cut a son man off. You might as well call him the N-word. Yeah. <laughs> it's rough out there. Yes. Cutting this, these things. And these things go down fast. It's not like back and forth. It's like you cut them off and the bullets are flying. Like, some men are fucking out of control. No matter what happens, you know, nothing is going to bring our beloved Ani back. Detectives have yet to elaborate on the motive, but loved ones tell us that the victim's vehicle was sideswiped by the suspect's BMW moments before he's accused of recklessly opening. So he sideswiped them. Which so he probably honked the horn. Yeah, they probably were like, they probably make grimace. They probably like, hey, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, man, fuck you, what? Bum, bum, bum. 
That's all it hey, takes, man. Hey, Ak, I'm always I'm always confused, Ak, and wait, so the cops took him into custody. He's alive right now, right? How does that happen? No, no, they killed him and then they brought him back to life. Because you know, every time a son man encounters a cop, he dies. So they like, brought this, him this back a, to life, like Frankenstein. They put him on the table. <laughs> He's definitely like. a monster. This is this is a perfect scenario for the for the you know it's just a white supremacy to gun this motherfucker down, but they didn't. Yeah, yeah they missed the opportunity, man. Um, this is this is this is yo, this is this is bad, man. This is a bad. You shoot a fucking beloved preschool teacher because you side swiped them, and let I give him the benefit of the doubt that you know. The, of course, they're going to say that he sideswiped them. Let's just say they sideswiped him, which a, a 21-year-old son, man, in in this car right here, I, I'm going to err on the side that he was the one that did the sideswipe. Oh, but but say they did it, though. That's not, that's, what does that mean? So what? They, it's an accident. Handle it accordingly. You don't have to shoot. The lady and a kid in another car. Fuck you. Yeah, man. This is just bad. This is not good. And it no solution, see? Every day. Hey, Ock, I sent you an email with a chart on it. I want you to bring up later. The chart? Okay. Uh, story. Christian, thank you.